is Julie. Today we are going to do a quick stretch focusing on your hamstrings and calf muscles. So if you've done a leg workout this week or you just have tight hamstrings, these stretches are going to help you loosen those up and gain a little flexibility. These are also a few stretches that help when you're working towards getting your splits. If that's something that you're working on, these stretches will be something you can incorporate into your stretching routine. So we're going to warm up real quick. I do recommend though that you warm up for about three to five minutes in some sort of cardio capacity, walking in place, getting on a treadmill, something that gets your heart rate up a little bit. I'm just going to lead you through a couple of stretches that will get you ready, but do warm up first before you get started. This is something that's great to do after you have finished a workout and you just need to stretch those muscles. So let's just warm up. We're just gonna do a light jog in place. I'm gonna get a little blood flow. I like to do a quick cool down like this after I've worked my legs or done cardio. It's great to get those legs stretched afterwards. It does help reduce the soreness that can happen after you've really worked those legs. I also love to still work on my splits, so these are exercises that I use a lot in order to keep my flexibility in my hamstrings. Okay, let's go into a squat. You're just going to sit back, come to the top. We're just going to do a few of these just to get a little blood flow into the legs. Stretching is so, so, so important. I can't stress it enough. Your muscles have greater strength capacity when they have greater flexibility doesn't mean you have to be able to do the splits or have extreme flexibility. You just want to be able to have enough flexibility that you can complete a good range of motion in all your exercises. All right, I want you to come down and hold this. Hold this right here, and then I want you to hinge forward and touch the floor. Now you're going to straighten those legs. You should feel the stretch in the back of your hamstrings. If you cannot touch the floor, go ahead and take your hands up to your thighs, but do not put them on your kneecaps. So on your thighs, or your shins, but please don't press them on your kneecaps. That's not good for your knees. So if you can stretch and touch the floor, great, or just reach towards the floor. But I want your chest to stay open. So I don't want you to like round right now. I want the chest open so you really push the tailbone to the ceiling. Get that stretched on the back of your hamstrings. Now go ahead and squat. Try to keep your fingers here and straighten up. Let's do that again. Go ahead and squat. Try to keep your fingers down, straighten up, or keep them on your quads. And straighten, let's do one more. And straighten, and go ahead and roll all the way to the top, nice and slowly so you don't get dizzy. And let's get started stretching. First thing we're gonna do is stretch the back of our legs and our calf muscles. So I'm going to put one foot forward, the other foot straight back. So like you're gonna do a lunge. And what you're gonna do is make sure your feet are wide enough apart so that you stay balanced. If you have them close together like this and then step back, you're gonna be really wobbly. So stand about hip width apart and then go straight back. That should give you a solid stance so that you won't fall over either direction. So when you find that position, I want one leg forward, both toes facing the same direction, and then I want you to push your heel, your back heel, towards the floor. So my back heel is towards the floor, and I'm going to wiggle my front foot forward a little bit just till I get enough of a stretch that I can feel it down my calf muscle. Then you're going to hinge forward slightly. You can rest your hands on your thighs, and just come forward enough that you feel the stretch down the back of your leg. And we're just going to hold it here. So this is a static stretch. It means we're not moving. We're just holding it. Now, for your muscles to increase their flexibility, you need to be able to hold the stretch for at least 30 seconds, up to 60 seconds. You don't need to hold for three minutes. That's excessive, you don't need to do that, but at least 30 seconds to allow your muscle to say, okay, we're going to release those fibers, stretch out, and increase your flexibility. It does take time to increase flexibility. It doesn't happen after one stretching session. You have to do it often. So I try to stretch almost every single day, at least a small amount after a workout. And then one day a week, I will take more time and stretch for about 30 minutes or so. But every day I do stretch, especially the muscles I worked that day. 
So just hold it here. Now, as your body starts to relax, you can lean forward a little more, really deepen that stretch. You should feel this down the back of your calf muscle. If your heel does not touch the floor and it's still up here a little bit or even here, that's fine as long as you feel the stretch. But your goal is to try to get it towards the floor. You should really feel that. Okay, now what I want you to do is straighten your front leg. So now both legs are straight. You're going to hinge forward and try to touch the floor. You can also be right here. Chest is still open and your back is straight. So I don't want you here. See how I just rounded? I don't want that. I want you to straighten out and keep your back in alignment. And you should feel the stretch in the front hamstring and a little bit down the back of your calf muscle. We're just gonna hold it here. Now, if you need to be up here, that's fine. You're still lengthening forward. You should feel the stretch down the back of that hamstring. And the more flexible you become, the deeper you can do that stretch. Awesome. But you have to be where you are, right? We all start somewhere. We don't start with crazy good flexibility. We have to work for it. Just hold it here. And don't forget to breathe. It is important to breathe through a stretch. And what I like to do is take a deep breath. And then when I release that breath, then I try to go just a little bit deeper into that stretch. How does that feel? Can you feel that muscle? You should feel a slight resistance, but not pain. Don't push through pain. Resistance or being a little uncomfortable is okay. Pain is not. Okay, come back up to the top and we're gonna switch legs. So you're back to your neutral position. Step back with the other leg and push that heel towards the floor and then hinge forward. Now, for all of us, we have one leg that is more flexible than the other. So your range of motion can vary from side to side depending on which leg is more flexible. This leg for me is not as flexible as the leg I started with. So I don't hinge as far forward because I don't have as much flexibility on this side. And that's perfectly acceptable. We all have that. Of course, we're always trying to increase our flexibility on that side that has, that has a little bit more difficulty um, but that's okay. It is perfectly normal to have a dominant and a less dominant side. And sometimes we want to stretch that less dominant side less because it's not as comfortable, but it's really important to stretch the side that doesn't feel as good. It's the same like when I work on the splits, of course I like one side better than the other because one side is more comfortable. But if you only just work the side that's more comfortable, you'll never increase the range of motion in that other side. So don't skip the side that is less flexible. So for me, I don't have to go as deep to feel this in my leg because this is not as flexible for me on this side. And I can really feel it. And if you ever walk around in high heels, you do a lot of jumping, things like that, your calf muscles can get very tight. So it's really important to stretch them out, let them release. I do a lot of jumping so my calf muscles can get really tight. Foam rolling is another great way to stretch those out and just release those muscles. Okay, we're gonna straighten the front leg and we're gonna bring ourselves forward. Our chest is open, our back is flat. You can either reach the floor, reach to your calf, whichever feels good for you. Now you should be thinking that your tailbone is coming back and lifting up towards the ceiling so you get a nice stretch. That's why I want your back to stay flat because then you're lengthening down your spine, lengthening down your leg. When you start to roll in and curve your back, you start to lose that stretch a bit. And you can kind of feel it. If you can pull back just a little bit, like you're pulling your tailbone back, you'll feel that stretch deepen. And I don't know about for you, but hamstrings are one of my tighter muscles. So I have to spend a little more time on them. And we all have different areas. Shoulders are my other tighter spot. I have to spend a little more time on them. They're not as flexible. Okay, we're gonna bring our feet together in a second and come back to the top. So bring those feet in and let's roll up. Now for this next stretch, I'm gonna use my bench. You could use a chair 
you could use your couch, um, anything that you can put your leg up on. So what I'm gonna have you do, take your chair, your couch, coffee table or bench, and you're gonna put your heel up on the bench. Your standing leg is going to stay straight and the leg on the bench is gonna stay straight, but don't lock out your knee. There's a slight bend in your knee, but you're not here. So it's straight, but not locked out. Bring your toes towards the ceiling so your foot is flexed. We're gonna hinge at the hips, back, flat, and we're just gonna hold it here. It looks like nothing, right? This stretch doesn't look like it does much, but you should really feel it in this hamstring right here. Now you can reach towards the bench if you want, as long as you're keeping your back straight and you're not bending the standing leg. It doesn't need to be locked out, but I don't want you to be here. So we want it straight, but not locked. And then the leg that's on the bench, straight, but not locked. And you're just gonna hold this right here. This is a great stretch if you're working on your splits. So with splits, you need hamstring flexibility and hip flexor flexibility. This is a great stretch for really getting those hamstrings. And you can do this anywhere. You can do this in your living room with your coffee table, with your sofa, with a chair, anything. If you like to run and you're out for a run, you find a bench or something, you can just elevate your leg a little bit and stretch. And you just hold it. This is how we're going to increase our flexibility here. We're just going to hold it. Now you can work your way up to holding things for a whole minute. Um, I would start with 30 seconds if you're not very flexible or you're new to stretching. But if you can work up to a minute, that would be great. And you also want to think of, while you're holding the stretch, releasing the tension in your legs. So right now, this leg that is elevated is your quad holding tension. If it is, think about that and then release it. And that will help you deepen into that stretch. So think about releasing the tension and not gripping your muscle, but you're letting your muscle go. Okay, are you ready? Let's stand back up and we're gonna switch legs. So other heel, we're gonna flex that foot, bring the toes towards the ceiling, standing leg straight, leg up on the bench straight, and hinge forward. Here we go, we're gonna hold it. Take a deep breath, you've got a nice straight back and you can be here, wherever you can, wherever you can go, whatever your range of motion is, that's where we want you to hold it. Now flexing that foot, that's just bringing more stretch into this muscle. Now while you're sitting here, think about is there anywhere you're holding tension in your muscle? Are you gripping the muscle? Are you pulling up on the quadricep? Those are things to think about right now. Is it okay? Can I release them? So I just felt that I had a little bit of a grip in my quadricep muscle. I was gripping it a little bit, and so I just released it. And then I could come down a little bit further. And sometimes we don't even realize we're doing something until we have to really pay attention and think, okay, where am I feeling myself grip that muscle? And we want to let that go so we can deepen the stretch. Hang in there. You're almost done with this side. How are you feeling? Is it feeling a little bit better? Okay, go ahead and release that. You can push your bench off to the side and we're gonna come down to the floor. So, we're just working the hamstrings right now. We're gonna go back to the leg that we did first on the bench. So for me, that was my right leg. And we're gonna put it out in front of us and our back knee is bent. And you're almost doing the same thing. You're gonna hinge forward, your back's gonna be straight. You're just gonna reach as far as you can and hold it right here. So very similar stretch. But you can go a little bit deeper here. Now, if it hurts to bend or be kneeling on this back leg, you can put a towel under there or a small pillow and that will help. And we're just gonna hold. So after a good leg workout, this, these are great stretches to do, especially if you did deadlifts and a lot of squats and lunges and stuff. This is a great set of exercises to just really lengthen out those muscles. It does help reduce soreness if you stretch after a workout. Or if you're sore the next day, go ahead and stretch. That will help a lot too. Just hold it right here. 
Now, as we get further into this stretching session, maybe you're feeling like, oh, I can go a little bit deeper. My muscles are starting to relax. It's the beginning that's the hardest when you haven't, you're just getting started and you're like, oh, my muscles are tight. Okay, come up, let's switch legs. So we'll bend this back leg now, put the other leg forward. We got your heel down. We're gonna bring ourselves forward and just hold it. And I do want to remind you before you go into a stretch, if you did not work out before you stretch, please warm up first. Your muscles need to be warm in order to stretch. You don't want to start stretching with cold muscles. So maybe you walk for a couple minutes, just get some heat in those muscles. We take it slow at first. Um, we don't want to go right into it and pull a muscle because your muscles are not warm and ready. I like to jump on the elliptical and just warm up for five to 10 minutes just to make sure my muscles are ready to work. But in this case today, I've already worked it out. And so I was warm <laughs> before we got going. Hold it here, you're almost done. You've got five seconds. And we have just a few more stretches and then we're done. Okay, go ahead and bring that in. You're gonna go ahead and sit down. We have, we're gonna take a seated position here. So we're going to bend one leg and pull it in and the other leg is going to be straight out a little bit to the side and you've got your foot flexed so your toes are pointed up. Now what I want you to do is make sure that you're sitting there on your sits bones and you're not rolling back, right? So we're nice and tall and we're just going to pull ourselves forward but keeping our chest open. So no head coming down, it's the chest coming down. You're just going to reach towards your foot, towards your shin, wherever you can reach and you're just going to hold it here. So just hold. Now, if you are really flexible and you need more of a challenge, you could put a yoga block here and try to reach around the yoga block, whatever you need to do. But what I want is your chest to be what's reaching forward, not your head. We don't need to reach with our head and we don't want to round our head down because then we're taking our neck out of alignment with our spine. So we want to bring the chest down as much as you can and then you're just going to hold it. Feel those muscles, are you gripping anywhere? Can you release them and breathe? Sometimes we hold our breath when we feel a little uncomfortable, but I want you to breathe through these stretches. It really does help. You can kind of pull yourself down with your hands, whatever you need to do to deepen that stretch. You're getting close, you're almost done. And let's switch legs. So take this other leg, you're gonna bend it in. Sit up nice and tall, and then you're gonna reach forward. And you're just gonna hold it here. Now this leg forward for me, which is my left leg, it probably looks like my right leg to you. This is my more flexible leg. So I can come much further down with this leg. This is the leg I prefer to be forward in the splits. This is my more flexible leg. We've all got one. But on your more flexible side, sometimes you need to challenge that side more because it will take more to feel the stretch. So sometimes I will hold on to something out in front of me just to deepen it or just really pull myself down, but still keeping my chest being coming down and not my head. Hold it here. And just breathe. One more stretch on the ground and then we're going to stand back up and finish up. Okay, now both feet forward. This is a pike. I know a lot of people don't love this stretch and I do understand because it's difficult. So this is what I want you to do. You're going to sit nice and tall like there's a wall behind your back. So you're not rounding back here and slouching. You're sitting nice and tall up four on your sit bones. With your legs, I want them extended straight out in front of you. You don't have to have your knees locked, but I don't want them here, unless you have to because you don't have the flexibility. But if you can straighten them down, what I want you to start by doing is just coming forward, even if it's right here. So chest is open, back is straight, and you're hinging at your hips, coming forward. If you're right here, that's fine. Now, if you can't even come right here, you can do a small bend and come down. 
but I would like you to keep your legs straight and then just come as far forward as you can come until you feel that resistance and then you hold it. So, and sometimes you would do a little adjustment, make sure you're on your sits bone. So I'm gonna bring my chest down and hold it. Now I'm gonna hold my feet to keep myself down. We're gonna hold it here and just hold. I like to keep my feet flexed, but you can point them if you want. If you can reach around the bottom of your feet, that's great. If you wanna put your elbows down on the floor, that's fine too. I just don't want you to do here where you're just reaching with your head, you reach with your chest. Now, are you holding any tension anywhere? This is one where we often do. So think about that and say, can I release anywhere? Can I let that muscle release? And then just breathe. And after you've been holding it for 10 seconds, take a deep breath and go, can I go a little bit further? Let that breath out and come down a little bit further. How are you doing? Can you feel it? Is your body starting to relax a little bit? Are you holding tension or are you letting it go? You're almost there in three, two, one, and release. Slowly come back up. Okay, we're gonna work our way back up and we'll be finished for the day. So go ahead and bring your feet in. Now, right now, what I want you to do is be up on your toes. So you've got your toes on the floor, your heels are up. And I want you to put your hands on the floor. We are gonna straighten to a standing position and try to keep our hands on the floor. If you cannot do that, bring them to your shins or bring them to your quads. Okay, so go ahead and put your heels down and you're gonna slowly straighten and try to keep your hands on the floor. If you need to come here, that's fine. So I just want you to try to keep your hands on the floor. Your tailbone is going towards the ceiling and you are leaning forward in the legs and feeling the stretch down the back of your hamstrings. Just hold it here. Take a deep breath. Now, if you're here, try to have a flat back even if it's here. So wherever you're at, try to have a flat back. And then maybe you come down a little bit lower. Maybe you attempt to just reach towards the floor. Now, if you're feeling pretty flexible, you've been stretching, you can try to come down even more and see, could you get your ribs to your quads? Can you bring your head to where it is pointed towards the floor? And breathe. How are you doing? Just checking in on you. You've got 10 more seconds. Okay, we're going to slowly roll up. So come out of that stretch nice and slow. We want to roll up slowly so we don't get dizzy. Nice and slow through each vertebrae. Up to the top. Okay, one more stretch to get you out of here. I want you to take a deep breath up to the top. We are gonna swan dive forward. So let's come down forward, nice flat back, and stop right here, right in the middle. Hold it right here. Now I'm just gonna turn to the side. So my back is nice and straight, like I'm a table. Someone can put a glass of water there and I'm not gonna spill it. And I just want you to hold it right here. We're not reaching to the floor, we're just holding it right here. Pull your core in. So don't let your belly hang here. We want to keep that core in. Tailbone is going towards the ceiling and we're just holding the stretch. Now, hopefully you're feeling a little bit more relaxed right now than you were when you started. Maybe your legs are starting to warm up. They're stretching a little bit deeper. You can feel yourself starting to relax and your flexibility increasing. Just hold it here for a second. Think of that tailbone going back and up. Nice flat back. We're just holding it here. Just holding right in the middle. We're almost there, five seconds. Okay, are you ready? Let's come back to the top. And how do your hamstrings feel? That was a quick hamstring stretch, quick-ish. 
great to do after a leg day workout or if you just need to really work on those hamstrings because they're feeling nice and tight. You can do this workout as many times as you want and see if you can increase your range of motion each time that you do it. So I will have also a hip flexor stretch coming up soon that I will post on YouTube. So for anybody that's working toward those splits, they can do hamstrings and hip flexors and start working towards that goal if you have that goal. So if there's any other stretches, specific areas that you would love a workout on, please comment down below and let me know and I would be happy to do that for you. Thank you for stretching with me today and taking care of your muscles and I will see you in the next workout. Bye.